Hey everyone, it's Caliber 32 Special. Welcome back to the channel. I apologize for the bench being a bit of a mess. Things have been a little crazy here at the house. Uh, I wanted to show you a couple things that uh, I made a pre video previously showing what my reloading setup was. And I came to realize I had a few deficiencies in the system. So for starters, I got a, a set of calipers so I could, being that a lot of my rifles are magazine fed, uh, I wanted to be able to check the length of my magazine so that way when I started to load I had an idea as a starting point. This one I picked up in my local sportsman's warehouse. It is a Frankfurt Arsenal brand, which a brand is I'm not overly familiar with. I've seen ads, but I don't really know much about it. It is a digital six inch caliper. It came with one battery that was installed in it when I got it. Uh, it had a plastic tab to keep it from you know being activated until you're ready to use it. It also came with a spare battery. Uh, I'm just going to leave the spare there and store the primary one not in the unit until I'm ready for it. Being that this is only going to get used a little bit, I don't want the battery to be dead every time I want to use it. Hold on a second. Sorry about that. The uh, cat started to come into the gun room, which is not fully picked up and not kitty safe at the moment. So I had to uh, have the kitty leave and close the door. Anyhow, uh, this will be used for measuring case length, overall length, uh, magazine length, so that way you know I've got information to work off of. I don't know how good the Frankfurt Arsenal generally is. For my purposes, I'm willing to bet it'll probably work just fine. Another piece of the puzzle that I did not have was a powder trickle. Depending on how everybody loads, you know, this is more or less important. Uh, I know some people load by, they have their powder throw uh, set and they just, and with a funnel on the end of it, they, using the reloading tray, put one shell up to the neck, throw it, put the next shell to the neck, throw it, just again and again, and they check every so often, you know what, uh, the charge to make sure it's still accurate. The way I was taught to load, especially because with the stick powders not metering as well, is I would throw it light and then use my trickle to bring it up to the proper charge. So the fact that I didn't have this meant I couldn't really get my reloading started. Uh, this was a Lyman, or is a Lyman Easy Flow Universal. Supposedly it works with just about everything I need, so and has a extension so it can go longer if I need it to. I have a RCBS uh, balance scale that I will keep as a backup unit. I decided to pick up a Lyman Protec 1500. Uh, this is a digital scale, comes with a calibrated weight and the tray. Uh, it can be either battery or plug in. And also has a removable dust cover, which would be kind of nice for storage. I went with, I decided to go with one of these just for speed and ease. Especially because California Bell has expressed interest in learning how to reload. And I think the digital might be a little easier to pick up than the uh, dot and then the balance scale. Even though which one's more accurate, I don't know. It's really ask to give you different answers. 
that's also part of why I got the digital calipers. Because I've read and used dial calipers, but for someone who doesn't do it very much, I think the digital will be easier to keep up with. Uh, that's for. I'm not going to unbox this just at the moment, but just want to show you that I, you know, I have it and I will be doing a full review on it. Last item I got was a, another funnel. This one is an RCBS. The funnel that came with my press is a 22 to 45 problem I've run into when I was loading my or trying to load my original my 223's was that the bottom of the funnel was too large the hole in it was and I'd lose powder down the side of the casing so I'm not getting an accurate load into the casing so I picked up this one is a 17 to 20 so it won't fit great, but I can make it work and I shouldn't lose powder over the side. So when I actually measure it, take time to measure it out and drop it, it should work. I generally have never loaded a compressed load. Um, just because my experience with loading has been, only, has been on 223. Uh, 32 Winchester Special, a couple of 9 millimeters. Uh, I think I loaded a 243 once. You know, just seeing what my buddies had and was messing around with things. So, um, my reloading skills are still limited. But, I've never loaded a compressed load, so I've never needed a drop tube. If I ever need one, I'll, I'll get one. Anyhow, appreciate everyone stopping by, and uh, reviews of the trickle, the scale, and the calipers will be coming up on the channel. If that's information you find interesting, then I hope you enjoy what you end up seeing. Everyone have a wonderful night. Thank you very much for stopping by. I'd like to thank everyone for stopping by the channel. If you want to see more of my content, I encourage you to check out you know, my website, calaveras32special.com. Links below in the description. I also encourage you to check out gunchannels.com. Online, you know, two-way community, you know, set up and operated a couple years ago, about five years ago at this point, by G-Webs or Mr. Gun Websites. You know, he is a avid activist for you know our two way rights, so that's where I encourage you to stop by there. As well as his website, gearwebsites.com, where he you know where his finance a lot of his financing comes from, you know, to help him you know fight for our rights. I hope you guys are you know uh, willing to stop by. You know both of those websites. Oh, and before I get on mine, I have my Spreadshirt store link and my Patreon link over there for anyone who is so inclined as to helping out the channel. Much appreciated. And anything I decide to, any money I get over there, I'll be putting back into the channel, and I'll be giving my patrons a chance to chime in as to what they think I should be using it on. I want to say again, thank you very much for stopping by. Have a wonderful night.